My name is Chris Denton and I am the Magnet Facilitator at King Science and Technology Magnet Center and I have been in this current position for seven years and we are a five through eight middle school and we are considered a magnet school and our job is to promote the themes of inquiry, technology, and service learning. We have a lot of different things that happen within our building. Uh, we have a recycling program, we have an aquaponics program, we have an urban farm, we also have a, um, a natural area. We have Nebraska native grass and plants and things growing. We clear cycle around the whole school. We pick it up and then we weigh it for a competition around the, from school to school. We feed the fish and then the fish poop and all the um, nutrients that are inside of the fish waste are not good for the fish, but it's good for the plants. So it will go up a tube that's inside of there and then it goes inside of here and this thing fills completely up. And then after it fills up and the plants have the nutrients, the water is clean and it filters back down. We don't eat everything we grow. Most of the stuff that we're growing as part of like our aquaponics or urban farm project, we turn around and donate, whether it's to our families or to the Open Door Mission. Our kids get that sense of when I'm doing something green and I'm doing something great for the environment, it's not just for me, it's helping out others who really need it. Our recycling, we didn't really have to get a whole lot of funding. I mean, the most part we were able to use general budget funds to purchase the recycle bins that are in every single classroom. So there wasn't that much effort with that. Um, we also reached out to um, Keep Omaha Beautiful organization to help us connect with different community events so that we can go and help clean up parks. There's no cost in that. Again, it takes that passion and that effort, but you're not using building funds for the most part. You're, there's already grants, there's already organizations out there that want to do things like this with schools. So most times it takes an email or a phone call and the answer has always been yes. So. Ever since I was in the Science Scholars class, I, I just got more into it and felt more like I want to be more protective about it because we only have one Earth. Yeah, I used to be kind of an inside person. I didn't really like going outside. I used to say I like nature when it keeps its distance. But now I'm willing to like go out and look at things and more willing to do some of the things that I wouldn't do if I wasn't in this program. We are really only given one opportunity on this planet to make a difference. And I just got done telling my students that it's so important that whatever moment you're in, make sure that you are present in that moment and that you are aware of what's happening because you're missing out on opportunities if you're not. And so to be aware that you can make a change and make a difference has to be their focus in every opportunity they're given. All the things we've accomplished, um, being a finalist for other awards, for being recognized for the efforts of what our students are doing. That makes them so proud because we're in a high poverty school and they're not seeing that instant gratification of that I make a difference. And so to be recognized for just the effort of collecting recycling, teaching kids how to recycle in the cafeteria, for you know teaching elementary kids how to do aquaponics, for growing our own stuff, they get that sense of confidence that they wouldn't have gotten otherwise if we hadn't pursued doing the Green Ribbon Award.